Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date, April 21st, going into April 22nd. I'm going to take a technical look at the euro versus US dollar and call it like kissing your sister. What do I mean by that? Well, there's an expression here in the United States. Uh, um, it's like, uh, well, it goes like kissing your sister. And basically, kissing your sister, sister is an unexcited kiss. And that's what we had in the euro versus US dollar today, an unexcited day. And why do I say that? Well, because we closed yesterday around the 107.37. And as you can see, we're currently trading around the 107.39 level, just a two pip move from yesterday's closing level. So that's somewhat un unexcited uh, excited type of uh, trading day. We really didn't move very fast far from where we were at this point yesterday. Now in the process we did have some movement. We went to the downside and then we shot up to the upside. And I was talking at this uh, this point yesterday about this 100 hour moving average. We held that level in trading in yesterday's trade and moved higher. And I said if we're, the market's going to go lower we need to get and stay below that 100 hour moving average. Well we got below that 100 hour moving average and went below the trend line and things really started to kick into the downside. In fact we went below the 50% retracement and the 200 bar moving average or 200 hour moving average that's a green line in this chart right here for about an hour or two and then started to move back above that those levels and this was the area where the market said hmm I don't think we're going any lower we started to find some support against that level and that ended up uh, leading leading to uh, a move higher and then a test of the 50% retracement so it kind of happened the second time around uh, and followed by a move to the upside that uh, stalled around the 10780 level now I have a little uh, horizontal line going across around the 10777 level and what does that correspond with? Well, you get to see it easier on the four hour chart. And if you take the high price from the April, that was a high in April. This is a low in April. The 50% retracement of that move to the downside comes in at 107.77 and a half. And so we went to a high of about 107.80 in trading here today, just a little bit above that level right there and started to rotate to the downside. And, and we've moved down again, right down to our 37 level, which is our closing level from yesterday's trade. So what do we have going forward? Well, it's kind of like, uh, you know, deja vu all over again or Groundhog Day or today's just like yesterday. Um, however you want to phrase it, we're back to where from whence we, we came. And uh, the, the only thing different is that uh, perhaps the 100 hour moving average, that blue line in the chart is a little bit higher than it was yesterday. And we have these two trend lines kind of dissecting and crisscrossing right where the price is currently at. So in this area right here, this is kind of our line in the sand. This is the line in the sand that's going to be bullish above and bearish below for trading, trading here today. And I think you got to take that attitude that uh, you know we really don't know which way the market's going to go and that's what this mar this market action is telling us in trading here today. So um, if the market should move back above the 100 hour moving average I'd be looking for a move toward that 107.77 level ultimately and, and uh, perhaps a break above that and this time staying above that level. If we stay below this area right here and actually move below these two, two converged uh, trend lines right here um, and they get below the 23 level which is a 38.2 percent retracement of this level, then maybe that opens up the door for further downside with again that 50% and the 200 hour moving average as our targets down below. So with the market in between those levels, it's kind of hmm, kissing your sister kind of time, a little bit unexcited, but we're looking for those fireworks. Maybe we'll we'll, we'll find that uh, that girl that we really like and get some excitement out of this uh, euro versus US dollar and trading over the next 24 hours. So keep an eye on those levels that I'm, uh, uh, I've been talking about. Keep your uh, options open in these types of markets understand that uh, the, the markets can be choppy so you have to follow your technical levels that are outlined here and also uh, you know maybe trade smaller positions maybe build a position if it starts to gain momentum on a break of either of those extremes uh, also uh, if you feel uncomfortable with the position and want to cut the position uh, with a small loss don't feel uh, bad about doing that. Oftentimes, you'll get better, uh, a better trade location and better feel about the market on the second go round. So don't be uh, shy about doing that. So that about uh, wraps it up for today uh, on this uh, report. My name is Greg Michalowski for ForexLive.com. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.